Okay, so if you're using the Epix launcher and it is you know, on a Mac, there is a bit of a glitch uh, at the moment uh, as a time of this recording. If we go to learn and we find ourselves our virtual studio by scrolling down, choose virtual studio, say create project, accept the defaults, create, nothing's happening. Nothing got created. So how do we get the virtual studio onto a Mac? We know we can't use the, the live video input output, but there's still a lot of great assets and a lot of great things to be had here. So it's supposed to work on the Mac. And it is genuinely a cross-platform project. So all we need to do is go on to the uh, Epic Launcher on a PC. So I will say that uh, generally, one of the best accessories you could have for virtual production uh, on a Mac is to have a PC. And the nice thing about this is, you know, it could be a friend's PC. Uh, it could be any laptop. It doesn't have to be capable of virtual production. You just need to be able to launch the Epic Launcher, go through that same process of going to the Learn tab, scroll down, find your virtual studio, and then generate the uh, Virtual Studio project. One other thing that I would recommend is when you click on this create project and you choose where it's going to go, go ahead and select version, uh, the oldest version of Unreal, because this will give you the, the maximum compatibility uh, across any uh, computer that you're using. So in my case, I chose version 420. It's red, but that doesn't matter. And then you hit create. Uh, once this happens, uh, you'll be all set with a uh, project folder. So here's where my Unreal projects are. And I've got a virtual studio project. And so then right click and uh, zip it up. In my case, I'm, you know, you could do a send to, I think, right click and send to, and you can do a compressed zip folder. Um, and that'll give you a, a virtual studio.zip file. All right. So from there, we can get that zip file onto our Mac. So go back to my Mac and go ahead to Finder, and let's just uh, look at wonderful columns. So here's my Virtual Studio zip file. I'm going to drag that into my Unreal projects and open that up. That'll, of course, uncompress that file, and then there we go. We have that project. So now back in my Epic Launcher on the Mac, I can go ahead to Library, and I'm going to just do Launch because it doesn't appear automatically under my projects, but I'll do Launch. This will launch the Unreal Editor. And what we're going to do is choose more here. And that will make sure that yep, there's Virtual Studio. I think actually it turned out that it did pick it up here uh, in recent projects because I've already practiced this. But you might only get your, you know, any projects that you already have open. So if you don't see the Virtual Studio here, just make sure you click on more. And then it will appear in this search because, again, I had placed it in my... Unreal Projects folder. With that, we can go ahead and open the project. And it's going to ask us about upgrading to the current version. I'm going to choose More Options and simply Convert in Place. Because I have a zip file copy of the 4.2.0 version, I don't mind converting this up to uh, 4.2.6 in this case. And so Convert in Place. All right, so then we just have to wait for this to finish. Actually, it doesn't take too long. And there we go. We now have the uh, Virtual Studio opened up. I'll go ahead and update my project. And I can hold my Alt key and left mouse click and paint around and middle mouse drag. And there we go. We've got video playing. And there it is. Virtual Studio uh, project open in Unreal 426 on a Mac. Hope this helps. Till next time, have fun.